Let us take one more example to just to endorse this concept of breadth first search. Let us suppose a graph is given and uh, this is the uh, adjacency list that we have prepared and uh, we are taking a queue and insert the root vertex in this queue. In this graph the root is not given so in the alphabetical sequence A comes first so I am inserting this A in the queue. The distance of uh, this queue uh, sorry A vertex is set as 0 and there is no predecessor of A vertex. From A we have the connections B, F and I all these uh, vertices B, F and I are of white color so insert this in the queue. We can just do some uh, shortcuts like if a vertex is there in the queue obviously its color is white or black. If the vertex has got deleted from the queue obviously its color is black. So that, uh, that much um, shortcut that we are, we are doing for this problem. So we have seen all the connections from A, so delete A. Before that, set the distance of B, F and I one more than the distance of A. So A had a distance 0, so the distance of B, F and I is set as 1. Since B, F and I have, explore, have got explored from A, so the predecessor of these vertices will be set as A. Now see the connections from B, these are A, C and E. A already deleted from the queue, C we can insert, E we can insert. So C, C, E have got explored from B, so the predecessor of these two vertices will be B. C and E will be having distance one more than B, so the distance of these two vertices will be 2. Delete this B and then take F, the connections from F are A and G. A has got deleted, G is not there in the queue, so there is a possibility of insertion of G in the queue. Set predecessor of G as F and 2 as the distance of G, 1 more than the distance of F. F has a distance 1, so the distance of G will be 2. Delete this F and then pick I. The connections from I is only A which is which was already there in the queue some time back so just delete this i see the connections from c these are b d and e b e is there in the queue d is not there so we can add this d since d has got explored from c so the predecessor will be c and the distance of d will be one more than c which is 3 Now delete this C, see the connections from E, these are B, C and G, B, C, G, all are there in the queue, ok, so no connection will be added from here, so E will be deleted, then G, let us see the connections from G, these are D, E, F, D, E, F, either they are in the queue or they were there in the queue sometimes back, so it will not be inserted again. So remove this G. See the connections from D. These are C, G and H. So C, G, H is not there. So insert this H. Distance of H will be set one more than the distance of D, 4. And the predecessor of H will be D. Remove this D. And then the connections from H, only D. So D was already there in the queue sometimes back. So remove this H. So now the queue is empty. The process ends up here. If you see the BFS sequence, the order in which the vertices have got deleted from the queue is the same as the sequence of BFS. So A, B, F, I, C, E, G, D and H. So A, B, F, I, C, E, G, D and H. This is the BFS sequence. Now about the distance and uh, the BFS tree, let's make the graph by only uh, showing the vertices. 
will show the edges with the help of the predecessors. So for A there is no predecessor, for B there is a predecessor A, for F the predecessor is A, so draw the edge FA, for I it is A, so IA is an edge, CB is an edge, EB is an edge, GF is an edge, DC is an edge, H D is an edge. Fine. You can set the distances. A has a distance 0, B has a distance 1, F has a distance 1, I has a distance 1, C has a distance 2, E has a distance 2, G has a distance 2, D has a distance 3 and H has a distance 4. So this is the BFS tree and the values here assigned are the distances from the source that is A. Thank you.